Hey everybody, Nick from Just Nas Science here, and today is the one year anniversary of our podcast. I remember it was Thanksgiving 2019, we, me and Lauren, we told our families then that we were going to start a podcast and we were going to launch our first three episodes on December 10th, 2019. And, oh boy, this was a year. It was a year, and that's putting it lightly. I want to talk about the past year and what it's been like trying to do a podcast and create a YouTube channel and Twitch stream and all that kind of stuff. And I, and I don't have a script. I, this is something that I just kind of want to say. Uh, I don't really like to script things if I don't have to. So here we go. The first thing I want to say is if you have an idea for a podcast, you should absolutely do it. However, there is so much advice out there that's telling you just get behind the mic, just start doing it. And, and yes, you know, you know what they say, the best time to start something is yesterday and the second best time is today. However, you need to have an idea. You need to have that idea fleshed out. And if there's something that I could go back in time and do a little bit differently, it would be look at the names of really popular science podcasts. Not so I can necessarily copy them, but see if there's any type of overlying themes. What words are they using? How prominent is the word science? Or are they using their, their niche words a little bit more? And it's really important to have an idea of who you want to listen to your podcast. Every, obviously, you want everybody to listen to your podcast. But the reality is everyone won't listen to your podcast. You're going to have a specific audience. And you should have an idea of who that audience is. For example, our podcast is not geared towards certain demographics. It's not geared towards people who are 65 and older. It's not geared towards people who are 15 and younger. It's just not. Our podcast is mostly for people who are between the ages of 20 and 40, have likely gone to college, and are believers in science, or maybe have an interest in science and don't know where to start. That's who our podcast is for, and even that's a little broad. Our podcast specifically deals with science, myths, misconceptions, pseudoscience, things like that. So the people who may listen to our show are people who are interested in a given topic. Maybe they read something online or they saw a Facebook post and they start Googling it. You know, they, we just put out an episode on chemtrails. Maybe they saw something on chemtrails or someone told them about them. And they're like, is this real? Well, we put out an episode talking about the evidence behind chemtrails, what they are, how do they supposedly work, all that kind of stuff. Once you have your audience identified, then you can start to name your podcast because you're going to want to use words or terms or phrases, whatever, that your audience is interested in and that they'll look for. If you can have the best content in the world, but if no one can find it, it doesn't matter. Alternatively, you can have the worst content, and if people find it, they're not going to stick around. You can always tell someone who buys follows or subscriptions or likes or something like that, or people who are into follow for follow, like for like. I don't, I, I despise those things. They work to a degree, and they might make you feel good. You see a bunch of likes, but there's no. In, there's no other engagement and it typically doesn't last very long so you can find or spot someone who has a follow for follow program or is a part of one because they have a ton of followers on social media twitch youtube whatever but very little engagement they don't get any likes they don't get any comments they don't get any retweets things like that and if you go and search our twitter and you're like you guys don't get many likes either yeah well we don't also <laughs> we don't have a lot of followers so <laughs> It's proportionate, though. We have a good amount of Twitter interaction, and that's something that you want to look for. You want to have a good ratio of things like likes, followers, comments, retweets, things like that. And the, the more a person has to do, the less likely they are to do it. So, for example, commenting on a tweet may not be as popular of a thing or may not happen as often because you have to do more things. You have to read the tweet. You have to hit uh, reply, type up a reply, and then hit send tweet. That's like three more steps than just double tapping something or pressing one button. So, you know, it's, it's important that you keep an eye on your engagement and 
personally, I would advise against doing things like follow for followers and stuff like that because it's really obvious who participates in them. The next thing I really wanted to say was uh, is a thank you. And I know it's a little cheesy or sentimental or whatever you want to say, but it's really difficult for me to come on here and say 2020 has been a great year for us because the reality is it's been a terrible, terrible year for so, so many people. And I don't like that we've had growth and success and so many people are hurting. And it sounds weird because we're obviously putting out episodes and videos and promoting it and in the, in the hopes that people will watch it and we grow, but I still don't like that other people are suffering in whatever capacity, maybe mentally, emotionally, financially. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. I do, I, it bothers me. It truly does. So I, I don't, I don't want to come out here and be like, yeah, sucks to be you guys. You're all having a terrible year, but we're fucking cruising. No, I, that's not my goal. But we have had growth and we have had a lot of people join our Discord. We've gained a, a few YouTube subscribers. We've gained a bunch of um, Patreon supporters, Twitch subscribers, all this kind of stuff. People who, in, in a year that we've had, are choosing to donate and and support us and help us and it is tremendous and I, and I can't thank every single one of you enough even if you were just someone who popped into one of our live streams for a minute said hey what's up and then dipped Th thank you if you're watching this right now even if you've never watched a, another video of mine again thank you and I I hope 2021 is better for everyone not just us it's it's a it's a global com community effort, and that's something that I really try to foster. I want my community to be a place where somebody can go and be like, you know what, this is a this is somewhere I can go to escape. They're talking about video games, Pokemon, pet pictures, food stuff, and you know I, I try to be weird and stupid on stream just to make make people laugh. That's that's the goal of our streams. I'm, you know, with the Pokemon streams, it's a little different. I'm trying not to lose all my Pokemon. And uh, it's not it's not going super well, but you get the idea. And why am I saying all this? Because it leads me into the next thing that I wanted to impart in this past year of wisdom, I guess. And that is be yourself genuinely. And I know that's really easy to say and hard to do, but this is something that I have been implementing in my day-to-day -day life. When I first met Lauren, I had told myself, I am not going to pretend to be someone else. I'm going to say the jokes I want to say. I'm going to talk how I want to talk. And if she doesn't like me, well, then she's not for me. Because I was in a relationship where I I pretended to be someone else. I pretend, you know, went out, did the partying, did the drinking, did whatever. Things that I didn't really like to do. And it showed because I didn't want to do them. You can tell I didn't want to to be there and it had an effect on the relationship mostly because the relationship wasn't right to begin with so when you when you stream when you make a youtube video when you when you do anything when you do your podcast put your best foot forward absolutely but make sure that foot is yours you know you don't want to be putting someone else's foot forward because if you have someone else's foot that's probably a crime This video is getting really weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This is See, this is why I script things. The last thing I wanted to say, and I, I, I do want to keep this somewhat of a shorter video, is that diversify your content. It doesn't even have to be your content necessarily. You can make all science content. You can make all Pokemon content, whatever. But put it on different places stream on youtube stream on facebook stream on twitch put out youtube videos go make a podcast go make a second youtube channel i don't i don't know whatever you got time for but make sure you have the time to do it and the last thing you want is for whatever reason people stop watching twitch streams because they don't like the culture on twitch anymore twitch isn't handling sexual harassment or some other issue properly and there's 
a large exodus from Twitch and they all move on to, to Facebook gaming. You don't want to be getting to the party late. You want to be established already. Let's say you, you, you don't even have time to stream anymore. Life gets in the way. You haven't had a chance to quit your full-time job and make this content creation your full-time job. And now all of a sudden you, you got a new project and you have to cut back your live stream hours. That happened to me. We were streaming three times a week. Then we cut it down to two and I'm fighting tooth and nail to try and get it back to three, maybe even four days while doing a weekly podcast and putting out YouTube videos. It's hard and then you'll make sacrifices. But if this is what you want to do, if you want to be a content creator, then do it. Make the time, make the effort. Your family, your friends, if they understand you, and they understand that this is important to you, then hopefully they will support you. And, and I say hopefully because not everyone gets the support they need. And that's another important aspect of, of all this. It's, it's so hard to do it as an island. Make friends. Even if they're podcasting friends, I can't tell you the number of people I've met on Twitter and Twitch that I have grown to really like as individuals just by interacting with them online. And... We had community game nights and we're always tweeting at each other and it's so much fun and it makes us so much better. And that is my final piece of advice is to enjoy the ride, make friends, be happy and interact with the smaller podcast platforms. You'd be surprised how much they, they grow, you grow with them. Just because someone or a podcast platform is new doesn't mean that they don't deserve your time or, or your respect because they're an indie platform. You're an indie podcaster. They're going to help grow you because you you'll ideally will bring people to that platform and it's a mutual relationship. So don't ignore the smaller podcast platforms or the smaller streaming platforms or video, social media, whatever you're using. Get in touch with them. Reach out. Make friends. I promise you'll see results. It might not be immediate. It might not be tomorrow. It might take six months. It might take a year, but it's better to have the relationship and the connections because you never know what will come from them. That's going to do it for this video. I wanted to give some quick off the dome thoughts and pieces of advice and, and a sincere heartfelt thank you for this past year. And we're going to be doing a an end of 2020 stream or podcast, whatever, I don't know yet, where we wrap up some of the top signs, news headlines of the past year and do like a countdown of them. And spoiler, it's going to be mostly wildfires, murder hornets, and coronavirus. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to come later at the end of the year. And uh, don't be afraid to hop into the stream sometime. We stream on Thursdays and Saturdays, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, Saturdays, noon Eastern, we're playing Pokemon, we cook, we do a bunch of different stuff. Sometimes we're doing our podcast live. So do that. Follow us on Discord, social media. We have all the links down in the description below. So, and, you know, maybe you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Maybe you hit the like button, notifications. We're putting out videos more frequently now. So, you know, you can hurt. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.